Hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and this is my YouTube channel, Books Arts Junkie. So for this video, which I've been so excited to do since last year, I think. Yeah, I've been so excited, thrilled to do this review of Wafeng 700 FHSM 700 because this is actually one of my best buys last year. Actually, this is not a sponsored video or whatnot. It's just that I've been so meaning to do this because I've been very, very thankful. This is like a lifesaver for me. I've been trying to look for cheap, affordable sewing machines for beginners that could actually do medium to heavy use, which for me at some point seemed impossible to find because I've already tried this JML sewing machine last 2011. That was my very first sewing machine. And actually, I, I thought that J, um, actually JML, I've had several issues with this sewing machine. Number one, I bought this for like 1999 If I'm not mistaken, in Ace Hardware. And so I thought that it's like the big deal because at the time there's like this home shopping network and they're like offering this sewing machine for 999 so I think those are the uh, um, cheap sewing machines. I thought this was like one of the expensive sewing machines because at the time I, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not really that knowledgeable when it comes to sewing machines. It was my first time and I was just meaning to buy um, a sewing machine and do some basic stitching. However, I've had really, really great trouble issues with this sewing machine number one it's so noisy number two the needles are always breaking up the threads as well whenever i'm in the middle of sewing a chiffon guys a chiffon if you're not familiar chiffons are very lightweight almost transparent kind of fabric so i really thought at that time that i wasn't that sewing wasn't really for me but i really love to sew because it's like my canvas canvas for paintings like sewing machines like an art thing for me wherein you could do a lot of artsy stuff diys and um yeah combine bare materials such as for example if you're gonna make a makeup pouch fabrics zippers combine them into something that's artsy for me so i thought that that was it so but I've got this interest with sewing again last October 2017. So I scanned Lazada for any possible affordable, reasonable sewing machine out there. And so I found this FHSM 700 by Hua Feng. It was 2,995. I stepped up my game because I was like, you know what, this sewing machine, this sewing machine JML, maybe it's small. It's very compact. This one, it's a lot more bulky, and just like it closely resembles Brother's sewing machine, the likes of Brother's sewing machine. So I really thought that I have to give it a go, but. At that time as well, I was like, maybe, I was actually doubting myself at that time that maybe I, I wasn't good at sewing. There's an issue with me and sewing machines in general. I didn't know that it was a sewing machine themselves that could cause you a lot of troubles and make you doubt yourself. But at that time, I also bought FHSM 5 06 and I actually bought this for my sister-in-law and my mom my mom as a gift for her for Christmas because she's also into sewing my sister-in-law is also into sewing so it was our first experience with waffing we've never had any waffing um, electronics and whatnot so I said I'm gonna buy waffing 700 and I bought them FHSM 506 FHSM 506 is like 1999 It's 1000 less than this Wafeng FHSM 700. But this one is a little more compact, closely resembles JML. This one closely resembles Brother Sewing Machine, which is like the brand that is, that is known 
in the sewing machine thing world. So I'm gonna be doing a separate video regarding FHSM 506, but I've had a lot of complaints with this one. We've had two, right? So two had issues in general. So I thought it was just like isolated to one sewing machine. Number one, the bulb. Later, I'm going to show you the parts of the sewing machine if you're not familiar, but they have these tiny bulbs so you could see the footer and while you're sewing and stuff like that. And it won't run after a month of using it for 506 and they've had a lot of issues with FHSM 506, which I'm going to be discussing and doing a video soon as well for this one that's the reason why we've upgraded my mom's to FHSM 700 so we've got two of these products as of the moment and for four months of using my current FHSM 700 I've never had any issues with this actually we're using it for our business and we are actually doing medium to heavy usage of this sewing machine telling you guys this is the best buy of 2017 for me i've actually bought a lot but this this one is actually one of my most best buy in my entire life guys because number one noise so the pros of using fhsm 700 so far the noise number one the noise for its price it's not like jml it's not like FHSM 506, wherein it's like jig, 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 jig. No, it's not like it's like jig, 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 jig. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that it's less noisy, though there is still noise. Of course, this is sewing machine, guys. It should have noise, but this one I can guarantee you for its price plus the noise, the motor stuff, and whatnot. It's more done sophisticatedly than with JML and FHSM 506. If you have this sewing machine, you could totally relate to this, guys. But this one, it's not noisy. Actually, you wouldn't even know I'm sewing when I'm in my room. When my mom is sewing outside, because she's always sewing at her mini office at our bar or in our living room, guys. Um, I would always know that she's sewing because it's like jig, 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 jig. This one noise wise motor are very done sophisticatedly um, It's tolerable and um, It's less noisy than the ones that I've mentioned earlier number two it feels and looks like a professional Sewing machine like brother's sewing machine. It doesn't look that compact comparing to JML, comparing to these sewing machines out in Shopee. They're like, these sewing machines are like 500, 400. They're so tiny. The feel, it's more, it's, it, Wapeng 700 doesn't feel so compact at all. It's like actually bulky and it's like you are using um, a professional brother's sewing machine and actually it's heavier than FHSM 506 most heavier most especially with JML this is actually heavier than those so it actually feels more like a pro sewing machine but I'm not saying that it should be your basis with in buying sewing machines but it just feels more like it because I've been into this compact beginners kind of um, sewing machines and I, I didn't like it they're so compact they're so lightweight that for you sew it's like it's gonna fall or something I'm not a professional reviewer but this is me as a as a consumer who's very proud and so very happy of this Wow Feng FHSM 700 I could do and I could do medium to heavy usage of this and um, yeah and for as a con actually i'm not biased or something this is not a sponsored video but as of now i've had no cause no actually i've had there is which i will later show you it actually has 16 stitches but i could only use 14 stitches i'm not sure how to use 16 and 15 but later i'll show you why and most probably 
you could agree with me that that is kind of confusing guys but yeah it has 16 stitches and I could only use 14 also there are a lot of comments um, I was just browsing through their page because it was my second time around buying and I was like I, I, I chanced up on seeing some questions for this sewing machine they're like asking if it can so stretchable or spandex clothes but um it was just i'm no pro but it's just based on experience that i managed to learn a lot of these things when it comes to sewing that the the admin of that page in lazada she or he like commented no it can sew spandex or stretchable fabrics because if you're not aware i've actually had that experience with wafeng fhsm 700 while I was dealing with, uh, because at the time I didn't know, I didn't know anything. I was just using the standard needle, common, I'm doing the hem. And so I was like, T -t 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 -t. and I was like, there are a lot of missing spaces for stitches and whatnot. And you just got to use the ball paint needle and it is available in Shopee. And yes, it's co kind of costly in Shopee because this is a special kind of needle. It's ball paint. <sighs> Hold on, let me show you. This is it. This is the this is the needle used for stretchable fabrics. Focus. So yeah, it's an it's organ needles, ten pieces. HA times 1 is 130 by 705H, 15X1, 75-11. And some additional facts for this, you could actually replace the footer. If you're, if in case you're wondering, you could actually replace it. I've actually have the standard footer, which I'm gonna show you later, and I've actually bought a separate footer aside from the standard footer, which could actually do everything. The standard, this one is actually specifically for overlocking. It's an overlocking foot for sewing machine. <music> is my Wafeng 700 actually it has this kind of feature this one could pull this off and voila so this is the armhole feature wherein you could sew basically the armhole around and it goes in here and blah 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 blah, 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 blah. see that and here it has that light guys so in here we have 40 in here we have 14 stitches this is for straight stitches this is for zigzag stitches this is for the buttons i think yep and this is what i've been telling you earlier 16 15 i don't know how to use that i really don't know how to use that it only goes up until 14 how do you 16 and 15 i'm not sure 16 and 15 luckily i have no reason to use these two so what are the basic features it has this back stitch high, low high this is the speed of this one and that's the pedal of course you can of course it also has this array of course, it also has this wherein you could make another one of these, which later I will show you. To do this, and when you press the pedal, this turns around, which later I will show you. Ah! So, very basic, guys, and it has this feature, like what I said earlier. This has this feature, this bonus, wherein it's easier for you to make armholes or stitch armholes now because how do I say this for example this is your fabric you can place the fabric under this one and while you sew of course it's round and stuff like that so basically it just go over 
in here again this is my visual graphic explanation so there you go you just go over here it's actually if you're sewing armholes that's more convenient guys this feature if you're just a beginner i think you wouldn't understand but this is not just for armholes actually i find this very useful as well whenever i stitch um skirts because they're round right but yeah it also has this cutter let me show you i uh, i'm sorry i don't have um my tripod so this is how you cut guys i'm not sure if you could see it come on focus cut <laughs> so you don't have to always have there's actually this is a small feature but this is actually very handy for me if you're using this machine every day doing several stuff and whatnot actually this is very convenient it's small but this is very convenient this kind of feature i love and the feel guys oh oh also because this is portable guys you could bring it anywhere you could actually it has a handle and you could actually carry it guys and you could put your tools in here how do i do this like that sorry sorry maybe not that big hold on if you're traveling and you need to bring this with you well it has this for example this one it has this mini drawer just have to insert it back actually this is rubberized that's why it's really hard for me to put it back without putting it down for a minute guys hold on there you go so it's already in there the bob pins container and the stuff that you need to bring with you like this mini scissors that i have and stuff like that also you've got to have this this i also have this so i could shoot the thread in here easier also in there in the needle hole I'm not sure how it's called guys yeah this is my waffing guys waffing the stitches are this is what I love using one and two and number five one to number five just a tip guys whenever you do the overlocking technique using the overlocking footer be sure to use zigzag stitches such as number five that's what i use by the way if you're if you're planning on doing the overlocking technique using the overlocking footer use the zigzag stitches guys there are my threads yes also if you're wondering this kind of thread it's really hard to use it with waffeng 700 the size of this thread no it's really hard to sew in waffing using this but I actually bought this because I had some tricks up my sleeves in using this whenever I, I refill a bob is that how you call it this one which I will show you in a while the threader thing part this one whenever I refill this one and actually I bought this as fair once because i have lots of colors and whatnot this is what i use in order to save up money so guys this is how you would fill a bobbin using this bobbin winder with this kind of thread this large thread seems impossible but it's possible so you just got to press the pedal and turn it to low or high depending on how fast bobbin winder to move so it depends on you guys but this one it's possible that kind of thread it's large but you have to guide it guys because it's massive it's huge it's heavier so you need to assist it or guide it like this so yeah it's possible for you to use this kind of threads in refilling your bobbin forget see this uh, i'm not sure how it's really called but if i'm not mistaken this is a 
low footer. Yeah, because it's low. It only goes high up until this, this stage. No more, no less. Also, this is a hold on. A See the footer very closely, guys. See the footer very closely, guys. It would snap. See? So that's a snap in. You just have to snap it in order to change it, guys. See? And you just have to snap it back or lock it back in order to place it back. There you go. So, this is a low presser footer. I'm not sure how it's called because some footers go high up until here. This footer is just low. So, this is actually the standard size if I'm not mistaken for this kind of for most kinds of sewing machines so this kind of presser footer low presser footer it's like um half an inch from this metal frame whatnot and the height of the presser footer it's a low presser footer height presser footer so far i use wolfing 700 medium to heavy use. We have orders every day so basically this is overutilized and since 2017 of October I've had no issues with it or it has not break down yet so wish me luck for another hopefully a year or more but that's it that's all you guys thank you so much for watching